Hey, look, it's like I'm a real YouTuber. Nah. Hello, players. Sexy tech, buzz stringer. Pants off? Mine are. Behind the scenes are available. No. Behave. I'm, I'm only funny from the waist down. Roku, the streaming OS, is about to give your TV an STD. In a recent pattern application, shows Roku wants to infect all of your HDMI ports with even more AIDS ads. In what can only be described as a dystopian fever dream, Roku's decided that your peaceful TV time is the perfect victim for their advertising overkill. The patent would allow Roku to detect when an HDMI source is paused and then give you ads. Roku doesn't just want to watch you while you watch it, but it also wants to sell you car insurance during your pause session. Yeah, let's, let's just take a pause ourselves. Sexy tech, sexy gel for sexy times when you're feeling sexy and you need some gel for that sexy time. They're going all Sherlock on your viewing habits. Extended audio silence, they're, they're on to you. No movement on screens, got you there too. It instantly becomes Linus Tech Tips trying to tell you about this message from our sponsor. I look forward to your comments. They're using every high-tech trick in the book to turn your HDMI inputs into Times Square. If you're taking a bathroom break, that's the perfect time to tell you about Guy Rectal Glide Wipes. You seeing this shit? I look forward to more of your comments. Tech companies are pushing the boundaries like they're playing a giant game of how much will it take before they snap. That's a catchy name for a game. Amazon's already dipping their toes in the water with auto-playing trailers, because, I mean, who doesn't love a surprise mini-movie with John Cena before the thing you actually want to watch? Now, the reason a lot of these streaming devices are cheaper than they should be is because they are supported by ads, but soon they'll cost zero because we just won't buy them. The good news is that right now, this is just the patent and Roku actually haven't done anything yet, but maybe, maybe they're actually the good guys and, and protecting it and locking it down so that no one else can do it. And, and maybe Mark Zuckerberg isn't a lizard person. If Roku or anyone does this, it's probably a good idea to switch them off from your wallet permanently. Remember that the remote is mightier than the sword, unless you accidentally hit that Netflix button for the 30th time today. Amazon Fresh is phasing out Just Walk Out. Remember this? this? This is where you could walk around the Amazon Fresh store and load up with groceries and the AI would work out what you picked and automatically charge you accordingly. Amazon Fresh is rolling back the future of grocery shopping faster than you can say labor laws or carbon footprint. The future was here and it was glorious. No more queues, no more awkward small talk with cashiers, no more jobs. Just pure unadulterated shopping bliss. In reality, the only thing that you're walking out with was a false sense of privacy. That's because Amazon's futuristic shopping experience was secretly powered by an army of humans in India. <laughs> over, over a thousand people, to be approximate, had to play virtual grocery stalker. It's like, is, is that guy stealing bananas or is he just happy to see the yogurt? Amazon, the titan of tech, the king of cloud computing, had to resort to good old-fashioned human eyeballs because their fancy AI couldn't tell the difference between a tomato and an apple. They're swapping Just Walk Out for dash cards because, you know, apparently scanning your own groceries is the new rocket science. Or maybe because employing over 1,000 people to do what a store or 20 people can do just isn't feasible. It took more people to run the computers that replaced the people. Amazon have said that they will keep the just give up, sorry, just walk out technology in a handful of stores and to keep the technology going. But they, let's be real, it's less about the tech and more about not having to tell their Indian employees that they've been replaced by a shopping cart. Don't worry, your new role involves analyzing the mysterious behaviors of the elusive avocado. Apple have driven their self-driving cars off a cliff, figuratively, of course. Apple's latest move is about as smooth as their maps during rush hour. They've laid off over 600 employees in California. It's the first significant job cut for Apple since the COVID pandemic. It's like they finally realized, hey, maybe we should put the brakes on this whole car idea. Oh, and while we're at it, let's hit the eject button on those 600 plus jobs. The employees worked at eight different facilities in Santa Clara. Imagine showing up to work thinking you're revolutionizing transport only to find out your biggest innovation was how to clean out your desk by 5 p.m. The positions cut include machine shop managers, hardware engineers, and product design engineers. You know, that, that's, that's a lot of talent, free to work on other things like maybe helping Google Maps find more scenic routes or creating an app that tells you how to avoid companies that bail on car projects. Yeah, we're out of time. That, that was a long one today. Well, it felt long. <laughs>
We don't have many comments this week, or views, or subscribers. Just like normal. I hope it doesn't change. We, we have one comment uh, on the Blizzard story, which is, except you, along with many of the gaming media, haven't verified if this EULA change is actually new. It's, it's not been in the EULA since the original StarCraft days. Your you licensing games and not owning them has always been a thing. I mean, I, I cut that comment down a bit because it, it did go on. But first of all, I'm flattered that you consider me media. I just show up and say stuff. Some, sometimes it's good. But, but, but you're right. Maybe it's because I talk too fast or it's a funny accent. But the, the arbitration in the EULA is new. But uh, not owning what you buy has always been a, a, a thing and, and a dick move. Even since the StarCraft days. Okay, stay sexy and be excellent to each other. I've just come back from a six-month motivational course. Well, I say for the first couple of weeks.